Coach Hill. First convention as a head coach here in Division One. Yes. How do you like it? It's good. It's it's uh, you know same stuff but different uh, different approach to how to think about things. Same stuff, just a lot more responsibility and charged with running a program, right? Yeah, yeah. Essentially, just getting uh, my game plan towards how I can be most successful with, with Edinburgh. You, know, you look at Edinburgh, you're a graduate, you made the NCAA tournament for a couple of times, and, and yeah. you know, it was, what Edinburgh put together was really special, you know, culminated with Tim Flynn in 2015, bringing that third place trophy back yeah. to Edinburgh PA, and you, know, you were part of that foundation, and part of that, that program, what's it like to come back there now and be the head coach? It's surreal, it's a little bit, uh, you know, uh, overwhelming in the sense of trying to fill the shoes of a guy like Tim Flynn, and you know, obviously Bruce was there before him. It's just uh, really, uh, you know, it's a special place, and you know, being a part of that and getting the, the uh, opportunity to lead, you know, that that school with that wrestling program is, is, you know, dream come true. You know, you kind of ran into like I wouldn't say a nightmare scenario, but a very challenging scenario to come into. The four best guys transfer out. You know, what what is your mentality going into that when you see your four best guys aren't going to be there next year, and, and you know? You got a senior in Billy Miller, and he's kind of yeah. more of a local guy an hour away. Yeah. What's that like, and how challenging? I mean, is honestly, that? it wasn't. I mean, obviously, obviously, it wasn't favorable. I was, I went in, you know, but also, no, those aren't my guys. Those aren't, you know, I didn't recruit them. Obviously, they're borough guys that, you know, that uh, you know, I had a lot of respect for coming in. But you know, it's kind of like you're with me. If you're not with me, you got to, you know, go. You know, and obviously, I wanted them to stay. I, I, I spent a lot of time trying to keep them to stay. You know, and it just. They got opportunities in that transition that you know. Sometimes you don't blame you don't blame them for doing it, but also, you know, you look at it and you know, uh, you know, if I if I was them, you know, sometimes loyalty, you know, you know, kids are as loyal these days. So nothing against them, but they had to take their uh, take their opportunities and make the most of the time they had left at uh, you know competing. So, but you know, you, you hope that you could have kept them. But um, I'm moving forward and starting my own legacy as a head coach at Edinburgh. What's the biggest focus for you? You know, they funding wise, it's a little different for for how Edinburgh does. There's a lot of fundraising, a lot of yeah. that is a big part of your job. But what's your main focus? Is it fundraising? Is it getting guys better at wrestling? Is it getting guys to go to class? What is the fo main focus for Matt Hill right now? Uh, yeah, fundraising is a big focus. Uh, you know, getting actually some more just guys on the team over the next year, getting quality recruits, getting the right fit uh, kids that want to be at a school like Edinburgh. Uh, and then creating a, a, a really good atmosphere to be successful and you know um, you know win EWL titles or and uh, you know get on the podium keep the tradition alive so. what do you guys got to do to replace those four guys you know I mean I, I think you guys you can still put four or five guys at the NCAA tournament I, I think you can still do it do you, do you feel the same or is there a lot of work to do there's a lot of work uh, the, you know these guys might be the guys that we I have right now. They they might be thrown in there a little sooner than they thought, or you know, so some of them got to grow up fast. And I, uh, you know, but that I think a lot of them have a chip on their shoulder. You know, they're they're ready to prove that. You know, we're we're sticking with you know with Edinburgh. We're sticking with Coach Hill, and we're gonna um, you know we're gonna do what we got to do to get to the NCAA tournament and get on the podium. You've been out in the ocean here. I mean, it's a beautiful. Oh. We got a, what a beautiful backdrop. Yeah, the me, lighting's poor, but have you been out? Me and former head coach at Edinburgh were doing a, a eight, eight o'clock night swim last night. So you and Tim? Yeah, Tim. Trying to get eaten by sharks. That's good, man. No shark. Yeah, Shark Week's over. So <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I got you, but no, it's not. Yeah. All right, man. You got anything else for me? No, go Burrow, and uh, you know, support the you know the Fighting Scots when you see us out there.